Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can delete attachments from a SharePoint list item using Power Automate. So here I will have a SharePoint list where certain items are there and we will take a particular item and whatever the attachment should be there, we will try to delete that by using Power Automate. So let me just open the SharePoint list here. So if you can check here, uh, this is a technology, it's a SharePoint list and it has one item. The first item you can see here, I have also added the ID column so that we will be able to know what is the ID of that column. Uh, sorry ID of that item and if you if I'll click this say then you can see there are two Attachments are there on this particular item So we will try to delete both the attachments by using power automate here We will get to know how to work with get attachments SharePoint uh, flow action as well as we'll see how to work with delete attachment uh, Microsoft flow action in SharePoint so I have also written a complete article on the same so I'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that step by step I have explained everything with, with screenshot. Now I'll open flow.microsoft.com and if you have not logged in then it will ask you to log in and you can put your Microsoft 365 credential for that. Now what I'll do here is I'll click on create and then for this particular example we will uh, create an instant cloud flow so which will trigger manually so I'll choose this option and I will say the flow name so delete attachments using or delete attachment flow and I'll click on create so once you click on create you can see manually trigger a flow action automatically added on that in this first thing what we will do is we will see how to use get attachments you can see that is a flow action you can see this action share point one so click over here so this is this action we can use to get attachments for a particular list item now in this case if you look at this the item id is 13 so let me first copy the site url so i'll just copy it and i'll put the site address here so you can see I put it once you put it then you will be able to see all the list available under that particular site I will select in this case technology and the ID I will hard code here ID 13 so you can take based on your requirement uh, let's say you want to use or you want to create this flow or run this flow when someone update an item or based on that you can take it so for this particular example, I have taken hardcoded this ID as 13 so that the flow will trigger only for the item which ID is 13. And next thing what we will do is we will use the delete attachment flow action. So I'll search for delete attachment. You can see here and first one you can see delete attachment that's a SharePoint flow action and it will take again the site URL. So I'll put the site URL here and we'll select the list name in this case the list name is technology and the id so we already know that this is the id let me just show you again so this is the id of that particular item and the identifier so identifier is the file identifier you can see it is coming from get attachment flow action whatever you have taken the moment i select this you can see here it is coming under apply to each so what will happen is if there are let's say five attachments are there so this delete attachment flow action will run for five times now i will save this flow you can see here i saved this flow uh, let me just save it let it complete so we have saved it you can go to my flow you will be able to see this flow the first one you can see here delete attachments flow that is the flow and we can run it manually so i'll simply click on this run button and you can see here it is asking for the permission so we put it and then run flow so once you give run flow you can see the flow run successfully or it is started we can see the status also you can just click over here and then you can see the last one it is showing that it is succeeded now if i'll go to the list you can see here the attachment is blank if we'll click over here you can see no attachments are available for this particular item now this is how we can delete 
attachments from a SharePoint list item by using Power Automate. So if you want this kind of free videos on SharePoint, Power Platform, SPFX, Microsoft Teams, all these things, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice day.